Hey you guys, so today we're gonna go ahead and start with lesson four, make bar graphs. Go ahead and open your math book to page 549. You can also go ahead and press pause while you go find a colored pencil. Any color you want is fine. Okay, make bar graphs. Teacher directions. Ask 10 classmates to pick their favorite winter activity Color one square for each vote in the correct row. Write your classmates' favorite activity. So you guys don't have 10 classmates to ask today, so I'm just gonna tell you what to fill in. So the activities that we have are sledding, ice skating, skiing, and snowboarding. And so for asking 10 students, we had four of them liked sledding, so you'll color one box for each, and there were four. So go ahead and do this with your crayon or colored pencil. Okay, for ice skating, there were two. So one, two, and then go ahead and color that in. For skiing, there were one, two as well. Actually, you know what? Let's make skiing three. Pizza, french fries, pizza, french fries. That's what I would say when I learned how to ski. Of course, I fell more than I actually skied, but that's okay, I still had fun. And then there was only one for snowboarding. Okay, and so we have just created a bar graph, okay? So our class likes blank the best. The winner would be sledding. So if you guys can see down here, the numbers are four. So we already know just by looking, we don't even have to count the boxes. We know that this is four, so that's the most, okay? And go ahead and turn the page. See and show. Let's see if you can see this. There we go. Okay, see and show. Go ahead and read this with me. I can hear you, you know. Go ahead and read it with me. A bar graph uses bars to show data. To make a bar graph, color one box for each vote. Bar graphs can look different, okay? So here they have favorite breakfast food. And so the options were toast, cereal, and eggs. And they used a tally. And then they wrote the numbers down like we did in our last lessons, okay? So one way to show a bar graph is here they wrote toast, cereal, and eggs, and they put the numbers on the bottom, okay? And then they just shaded in. So for toast, there were four. So they shaded in one, two, three, four. Cereal was five. Eggs were two. And so you can show your bar graph going like this way, okay? But then another way to show a bar graph is look, they put the foods on the bottom and the numbers vertically. And so now the bar graphs are going vertical where here they were going horizontal. Either way is fine. And you will see bar graphs in both ways throughout your um, math chapter and life, beautiful life. Okay, so let's go ahead and look at number one. Sorry, my blood through with my markers. Use a tally chart to make a bar graph. So here we have favorite muffins. Ooh, muffins. And we just talked about how I'm such a great baker now. Um, still not good enough to start a YouTube channel on my baking though, and that's okay. <laughs> okay, so blueberry muffins, there were four total. Strawberry, there were two total. Lemon, there was one. And cherry were five. So let's go ahead and make a bar graph. Um, and here they listed the muffins um, on the left side. So that means we're going to have a horizontal graph. 
So for Blueberry, there are four, so go ahead and color in your four. And color those bad boys in. And for Strawberry, there were two. And color those bad boys in. And only one for Lemon. I actually really like Lemon. Lemon bars are good. And Cherry, five. Cherries are pretty good, no matter what you eat them in. Okay, so um, in your, on my own, on page 551 and 552, you are going to have charts that look like this that you have to figure out the, you have to write the total numbers, and then you're going to have to make graphs. Some graphs are going to be horizontal, some graphs are going to be vertical. 